Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's sole aircraft carrier, suffered a major mishap while undergoing overhaul work at a dockyard in Rozlyakov near Murmansk. The aircraft carrier, which displaces around 55,000 tons, nearly sank. The warship has potent firepower as it's capable of carrying 18 Su-33 and 6 MiG-29, as well as supersonic P-700 Granite missile and hypersonic Kinzhal missile, but is currently off-duty and undergoing maintenance. The vessel has been facing major issues since 2016 when black smoke was seen coming out from it during its engagement in the Syrian conflict. The overhaul is slated to finish in 2020. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia's only aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, narrowly escaped sinking, but why it may remain out of action for a long time. Let's get started. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock, capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons, is the biggest one Russia has and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to tilting of the dock on one side. One of the PD-50's two cranes, which are 70 tons each, fell on the deck of Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters. The second crane also got imbalanced and, as per some reports, fell in the sea. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize and, as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. The PD-50 was built in Sweden in the late 1970s and was delivered to the Soviet Navy in 1980. The disaster could have been even more catastrophic if Kuznetsov was not moved out. Russia's state-owned shipbuilding monopoly, the United Shipbuilding Corporation, made a statement that damage to Kuznetsov was manageable and would not undermine plans to return the vessel back to active service in 2021. United Shipbuilding Corporation officials blamed the PD-50 disaster on power shortages that apparently caused the water pumps of the floating dock to malfunction. But, as per some other reports, electrical power authorities in the Murmansk region denied any power failure issues on that day. It is also to be noted that PD-50 has its own power generators which were supposed to negate these kinds of situations. Russian investigators have started looking into this and the details may be out in some time. The PD-50 loss is a big blow since it has no easy replacement. Most of Russia's big surface ships were built in Soviet times, which includes the Kuznetsov. The constructions of these vessels were carried out in the Black Sea port of Mykolaiv, which is now in Ukraine. Currently, Mykolaiv's large shipbuilding docks are unavailable to Russia because of its conflict with Ukraine. The PD-50 was the only floating dock in northern Russia that can handle Kuznetsov or the nuclear battlecruiser Piotr Veliki. Piotr Veliki is also scheduled for overhaul. There is also very limited probability that PD-50 could be salvaged from the depth of the ocean and brought back to operational condition. Keeping these factors in view, the assertion of United Shipbuilding Corporation that the accident won't have much impact seems incorrect. The loss of PD-50 potentially deals a severe blow to President Putin's naval renovation plans, which is part of a larger plan to modernize the Russian military. Hit by Western sanctions, the Russian economy is not in good shape. It was expected that under President Donald Trump, the relation between America and Russia would improve, but these things have not gone that way. Under Trump administration, U.S. has imposed many sanctions on Russia for human rights abuses, meddling in the U.S. election, as well as Russian military intervention in Ukraine and Syria. In 2014, the European Union had also imposed sanctions that impact Russia's finances, as well as restricts many kinds of imports like sophisticated industrial equipment. Russia has had many Soviet-era military platforms and support equipment that are three to four decades old and are outdated by today's standards. Many of these are having lingering issues. For example, Admiral Kuznetsov has been suffering from propulsion issue for some time now. Many programs have seen major cutbacks due to budget constraints. This includes the T-14 Armada tank and Su-57 5th generation stealth fighter. The training of personnel handling sensitive undertaking is also suspect. In this situation, accelerating efforts to rapidly upgrade the military will have many challenges and could potentially lead to more accidents 
in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.